Hi everyone, it's Catherine here from Chaos Creates. Thanks for joining me on my channel today. I'm here to share with you a layout for Confessions of a Paper Addict. And this layout is inspired by the mood board. So the monthly mood board is happening for June. So go ahead and check it out. Here's an image of it. And so I'm taking that mood board, but you can go ahead and create and there is a prize at the end of the month. So I am scrapbooking some photos from a trip to Tassie we had. These photos are taken at the um, uh, Cradle Mountain Devil Sanctuary, uh, Tasmanian Devil Sanctuary. And so we had an awesome evening, um, you know, seeing the Tasmanian Devils, um, getting to understand and know more about their environment and what's happening. We actually even got to pat one, um, which was pretty cool, just on its back, um, you know, with <laughs> with the trainer, obviously, or with the carer. Um, but as you can see here, I am using the under the stars to cut file and I've left it on my cutting, cutting mat and I'm just going ahead with some distress oxides and just coloring in the cut file here because I didn't want to back it I just wanted to leave it um, as is but I wanted to add some color now I don't know all the colors here um, so I'll leave that in the description box below that you can take a look at I know that this is antique linen around the um, the moon there and I think this is fiber red and I know I've used pine needles in terms of the green or one of the greens on the trees um, but yeah I'll leave I'll leave um, in the description below I'll leave the um, actual distress oxide colors so as you can see I've gone ahead and taken that off my mat now I'm just trying to work out what background paper and as soon as I put the cut file on this navy um, navy blue background I was like yes that is perfect and then I've cut all my my um pictures apart and I'm like oh they are not going to fit there so I'm just going to document the two pictures now these are photos of there was a, a fire pit and so we could roast marshmallows and we got some desserts and some wine um, so I'm just going to document those because I thought they fit with this um, with this cut file here so as you can see, yeah, I, I leave those other photos to the side. Now I'm going to go ahead and embellish. But then I decide, actually, I want to add some sputters to this. So I've pulled out the Liquitex in titanium white. And I'm just sprinkling that around the page all over just to add some sort of more star detail. And I really like how that looks. So I have gone ahead and left that to dry and then come back on camera. And I'm just gluing down the cut file. Now I didn't, um, yeah, I I didn't want it to move too much. I, I knew that I would move it around the page and it would, um, yeah, sort of get um, get moved. So I just wanted to stick it down. I didn't stick it down fully flat because I wanted to make sure if I wanted to, to tuck some things in um, and around the cut file. But yeah, I think this moon um, looks great. I, I would have liked to have probably backed it with some vellum. I think I thought about that afterwards. I think some vellum would have worked really well there, but I do like how it turns out in the end. So I'm just going to go ahead with my ATG and stick those photos down. Now I have sort of sorted through the die cut a little bit and pulled out some things that I thought could make. I could make work but then I pull out this um, hey good times as my title and I really love how those um, sit there um, I've got this chipboard sticker that says adventure unlimited and crew 2022 so I thought that worked really well I put a ticket next to that um, photo there and um, and then a, a um, tag just underneath that other one and I like how this is looking. Now, this layout did come together really quickly. Obviously, it took me a little bit of time to um, color the cut file. But other than that, it really came together quickly. So I've added that um, wood sort of flare button there, which says awesome. And I've laid that out there. And I, I do move things around. I'm going to stick down some, um, some of these sort of phrase word stickers. Um, the one I choose in the end is heck to the year for that bottom photo and I'm just trying to see what else I can make work from the sticker book I knew I wanted another round sort of element um, on that other photo but I do go ahead and choose this star and yeah I'm just looking through these face phrase stickers because I wanted to yeah there you go I've changed that and that says heck to the year and that was fitting so that was um Seb and Ray toasting marshmallows in that photo and then I'm going to use this other one that says the best because that was a picture of our dessert which was absolutely delicious and 
Now I'm going to go ahead and add foam squares to my title. I don't make you watch all of that, however, because that was long and tedious. Now I'm just going to go ahead and add some enamel stars around the page and some Nouveau drops, and that will be it for my layout. Pretty much. I'm going to add some twine actually to that um, tag. But yeah, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're interested in subscribing to my channel, I'd love to have you here. Um, go ahead and check out the Confessions of a Paper Addict Facebook group where you'll see um, the mood board challenge for the month. You can win a gift voucher to the shop. And I will leave links as well to this cut file as well as the Etsy store. So yeah, that is my layout. Thanks very much for watching. It was a quick one today, but I'll leave some close-ups at the end. Thanks everyone. Bye. Mm -hmm.